When I did my singles review for this album, I didn't know what to think about the rabbit ears. I don't know what to think about the rabbit ears. Now, of course, she specified that this album is a heightened version of herself, right? So she's pretty much just dodging the question because it looks like she's still like five foot in that trailer. Um, I forgot my next line. Oh yeah, I was obsessed with Ariana Grande in high school for real. Arena Grenade has always been that artist for me that was like, uh, it was like my artist, you know what I'm saying? The guilty pleasure that I was never guilty about because I actually listened to the albums. And my friends don't want to give it the time of day even with how hard I push her. And I do understand it from like the outside perspective. You just see what's on TV and you've seen this and that. But have you listened to the album? Because that's what all the TV stunts and all this is about. It's all about the music. I'm always confident standing behind the album too. I've never felt like, oh, you know, maybe I did get carried away and, you know, just because she's so next level physically. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm Sam, by the way. And I have one nice thing to say about Ariana Grande's Dangerous Woman. Let's just get right in it. Let's just get right in it. Let's just get right into it. Let's just get right in it. Let's just get right in it. Let's just get right in it. Let's just get right into it. I feel like I could write an Ariana Grande song. I've listened to all three albums. The first verse, we'll talk about the way that a bad boy makes her feel. You with me? Bear with me. Then the second verse, we flip it up on him and we talk about the way a bad boy makes her feel. I'm not the only one that's noticed this. And jokes aside, it does get a little old in this album and I wish there was more variety in what she talks about. Oh! The other thing I'll say about the lyrics is that in interviews she preaches what she believes and you know says this and that, but the music is, it never like leaks into the music. There are some artists like Fifth Harmony and Beyonce for example, where their music is just feminism, you know, feminism with music attached to it. So when that sells records it just makes me think, is this because of the music itself or is there some gimmicky pandering going on where their audience can be like, slay, preach, queen, and you know, but in reality they know it's a pretty safe message that pretty much everyone can agree with. Is it selling because the songs are good, or is there some other stuff involved? Ariana Grande's music has no other stuff involved, so it's like, it has to be the music, and that's nice to know. Now let's talk about the features on this album. Wait, actually, I have one more thing to add to the lyrics. Actually, no, I don't. Let's go ahead and get into the feature. But that being said, this is bed reviews, and I can't, I can't get to sleep without a good, a warm glass of milk. There's no milk either, but... Look kid, we signed you for one reason, and that's to make hit records. We want hit records. She's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Feature black artists on the records. You can't say that, but yes. I don't think the features were unexpected. The only unexpected thing about these features is the absence of Drake. If she had gotten Drake, the whole family would have been there. Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Future. Oh, but why get Drake? It's not like he's popular. It's not like he has an album coming out at the same exact time. I'm mad about this. I'm mad about this. I'm pissed about this. Look, the features are all pretty good. There's no no names on here. Like last time, there's ASAP Ferg. Ugh. Future's feature would have been the best, but he, he didn't really say like anything spectacular in his verse. It was just kind of like a verse. If he had said something cool, it probably would have been the best, but I'm giving it to Wayne. Even though he did the, he went for the grande pun, it was still a good verse. And I guess I'll just fill this up with, um, despair. My shattered dreams. Oh no, I'll fill it with tea, then I can do the, um, current meme. None of my business. Joke. Speaking of delivery, I'm sorry, I'm, my nose is like stuffed up, I, it's allergies, I apologize. The delivery. Legendary. Iconic. Don't take that lightly. At all. She finally fucking uses her voice. I think everyone in the world has been waiting for this. Everyone that's heard the first album or the second album, they've been like, I wish she would like, really shift it into, um, delivery mode. I don't know. Her voice, to me, sounds fully developed in this album. I don't think her voice could be better than it is right now. There's memorable lines, like in Into You, where she's like, Baby, that's how I want it. That part's in my head all the time. By the way, that song is that is like the best song I've heard. That's like a perfect song. I don't know how you can get better than that. I don't know how you can get better than that freaking song. And the ad-libs at the end of every last chorus is... It's superb, man. The delivery... I don't think you can say anything negative about the delivery. Let's pause for a brief intermission and I'll tell you about what I think are the strongest tracks and the weakest tracks. So here's the track list. I think this one's strong, and I think this one's also very strong, and this one, and this one, and this one, and that one. For as for weak tracks, this one, this one, and this one. I'm gonna remove side to side. That's a, that's a, that's a medium track. I don't care it has a good message. I didn't like how slow it was. It might grow on me later, but for now. And Leave Me Lonely was just kind of weird. It was weird. I didn't, I don't know. 
Every album takes a big step up from the previous one. In the first one, you're like, oh, hey, she made an album. And in the second one, you're, you're like, wow, she's really good. And it makes you feel bad for her. It's like very self-deprecating lyric. Then the third one is like insanely bold. She's like rapper level confident in this. You know, Nicki Minaj is, is usually, she hops on, she's like, I, I, I'm a bad bitch. He treated right, I let him eat it like a cabbage. I, I, I'm a savage. You know, doing her um, thing. And then they're like on the same level in this album. Ariana's like, Hostile almost like aggressive and that's, that's I don't see that in pop music. I've never seen that but it works so well I'll say this if the rabbit ears was like a bondage sex thing like some people are saying I think Ariana would be the one with the whip and stuff. All right, this might turn out a little gay, but I'll give it a whirl Bam, what was I ever worried about? Oh, what was I ever worried about? Following the, the donut all the people saying she's a bitch and all this. The easiest thing to do would have been to like play victim and be like, well, sorry, I'm young, you know, like Justin Bieber did. He's like, I'm young, you know, I have a lot of grown up to do. I've made my mistakes, you know, there's unrealistic expectations for me because I'm famous, you know, I'm a human just like you. But instead, she takes this route where she like is, embraces it. She's like, well, yeah, well, this is who I am. Well, I don't know what you thought it was. Piss off. I already said I'm sorry. I'm done with this. And man, I've been saying this and I'll keep saying this. Ariana Grande is a legend in the making. You can quote me on that. She's not sitting over here with Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato. I don't actually know whose business that is, but I know that it isn't mine. This is like, the magazines love to say, former Nickelodeon star, and that's like insulting. People don't, they, they don't remember the phase. They probably didn't even know about the phase where she was like a YouTuber. She was pretty much a YouTuber. She would sit down with a webcam, like me, sort of. No, but not like me. She would sit down with a webcam and just talk and sing and make videos. And just, she built her own fan base like that. There was no one involved. There's no, that didn't happen by signing a contract. You know, that, that's, that's her. You can't, that's the difference. Like, there's such an apparent difference to me. It's hard for me to explain, I guess, because no one, like a lot of my, none of my friends really understand it. They're just like, yeah, whatever, he likes her a lot. But I'm saying, there's something here. There's something here, definitely. She's, this is a special artist. At the end of the day, the potential is still not reached. She gets so, she makes huge bounds every album. She's way up there, but it's still, I still know there's more in there. Like, she can do better. I know she can. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. It's a great album. I think it's the same level as My Everything, which I would also give a 7 out of 10, just because I know, just because I'm saving the 8, 9, and 10 for her later albums when she reaches her full potential. Let me know what your favorite tracks are, and let me know why, because some of these I just don't really understand yet, and I, they'll probably grow on me, but right now I'm like, I don't get it. So let me know, please. All right, I'm about to go off, so you can feel free to leave if you don't want to watch like some long thing. Um, leave a like, a comment if you want to. Uh, tell your friends, retweet it. The music is darker and sexier than the last albums, yeah, but what I think this album represents is the journey into maturity. Not the full maturity, but the journey getting there. Looking at the lead single of her first album and the lead single of this album, it's clear to see the confidence level is a lot different. The way she sees herself is different, but it's the same topic. And I don't think it was an accident. I think it serves to show like a juxtaposition. Like this is still the same person care about the same things, but it's just different. You see yourself different. And you know, I'm I'm 19. I'm in that stage of life where I'm kind of learning what it's like to grow up and like be mature and stuff. And and I could be wrong, but what I think it, uh, maturity means right now is like it doesn't mean changing who you are, or what you care about. It it just means like recognizing what you've always been and learning how to like capitalize and take advantage you know like learning how to handle yourself in the best way possible learning how to optimize yourself learning how to play up your strengths and downplay your weaknesses in, in the same situations you're always going to encounter just because of who you are and i was watching some interviews and i, th I think i'm right i think i'm onto something she said um because ariana defined she says i'm not afraid to be unapologetically myself to be honest and to embrace who i am i think is what she said and, you know, that's subject to change. Because when The Way came out, she said, I don't think there needs to be any big landmark of Ariana grew up. Now she's saying, I've come into my own a little bit. You know, it's a never-ending process. That's something we can all take away from this project, uh, you know, no matter where you are in life. There's always growth, whether or not you see, you know, big landmarks happening. It's always happening, and that's motivating. And it's beautiful, and it's comforting. And there's a song on there called Be Alright, and I think that fits in very nicely with uh, you know what I'm talking about here and you can hear that beauty and that motivation and that comfort in the album And plus it's dope to bump in the car. You know what I'm saying? It's never just music when you're listening to an artist ladies and gentlemen And with that being said if you stuck around, I appreciate you a lot um, If you want to follow my Twitter it's scout 121 if you want to subscribe to the channel There's gonna be more videos of course this has been bed reviews I've made a couple other ones on Tori Kelly and uh, and I did a singles review on Ariana's this album appreciate it
See you guys later.